the last discussion in chapter 3 and this is the last discussion for metamorphic rock we need to know about the characteristic of metamorphic rock and the metamorphic rock divided into two characteristic which is which are foliated and non-foliated the example of metamorphic rock for foliated are slate violet schist and kinase and for non-foliated we have marble and quartzite Okay, under uh, foliated metamorphic rock, uh, what you need to know is how uh, the orientation of structure inside the rock. Foliated means that a parallel orientation of mineral grain within a metamorphic rock which resembles the bedding of sedimentary rock. Okay, this is the example of original rock. The internal structure, you need to see the internal structure. The internal structure is scattered all areas. And metamorphism occurs. Uh, this is the example where pressure is acted to the rock in this direction. And because of the huge pressure, the structure is rearranged and it is formed in parallel. So... This is what we call as foliated metamorphic rock. And if you need to see the original condition of this rock, this is the original and this is after metamorphism. Foliation gives metamorphic rock a banded or layered appearance. This is layered appearance, this one. And associated with the original metamorphism where tectonic stress is the major factor. So this occur during regional metamorphism. Uh, regional metamorphism where a lot of huge pressure will be put on the rock and because of the tectonic plate movement. So under foliation, uh, the stress acting on rock are applied in one principal direction. Okay, this is stress applied in one single direction, which is at the side of the rock. And the greatest pressure usually act perpendicularly to the axis of the mineral grain. So, look inside this one. This is mineral grain and the pressure acted perpendicularly and the types of foliated metamorphic rock we have slate this is very fine green excellent rock cleavage most often generated from low grade metamorphism of shale mudstone or siltstone and next is phyllite the gradation in the degree of metamorphism between slate and schist Platy minerals not large enough to be identified with the unaided eye. So you need magnifying glass or you need micros, um, electron mic microscope to look into the uh, grain or the layered. The surface is glossy sheen and wavy. And phyllite also exhibit rock cleavage and also compose mainly of fine crystal of muscovite and or all chloride so this is the picture of phyllite uh, at the left and slit right like visible mineral grains so next is schist schist is medium to coarse grain rock it has the platy mineral predominate commonly include the mercas the term schist describe the texture to identify indicate composition minerals name are used such as mica schist okay next uh, is the picture of mica garnet schist so this is how metamorphism uh, change the original rock for garnet it is a medium to coarse grain rock it has the banded appearance. It is from high-grade metamorphism and often composed of white or light-colored phosphorus layers which, with bands of dark ferromagnesian minerals. And look into the sample given here. 
this is a uh, nice typically display a banded appearance so you can see the structural has been uh, layered the arrangement is by layer here next is non foliated metamorphic rock but before that one this is what you can see um, the representative of uh, the information that you have so from foliated uh, we have slate violet schist and genice for non-foliated metamorphic rock this metamorphic rock that lack foliation are referred to as non-foliated this kind of rock is developed in environment where the deformation is minimal and typically composed of mineral that exhibit equidimensional crystal. So the best example of non-phyletic metamorphic rock is marble. It is very coarse and crystalline. The parent rock was limestone or dollar stone. It is composed essentially of calcite or dolomite crystal. It is used as a decorative and monu monument stone. And this is very beautiful rock because it exhibits a variety of colors. So this one is the original marble. And it actually can be cut and polished. And we have a very good great material for construction. Next is quartzite. It is formed from parent rock of quartz rich sandstone. Quartz grain are fused together. And these are the original rock and metamorphic rock. This is the sample from original rock and then changed to metamorphic rock. From the parent rock of sedimentary rock, we have sandstone. And after metamorphism, the rock transformed to quartzite. From shale, it metamorphed to slate, violet, and schist. And from limestone, it transformed to marble. If the parent rock is granitic texture in its rock, the metamorphic rock is nice. And for compact texture in its rock, the metamorphic rock is schist. So the last one is you need to know what is the importance of knowing metamorphic rock in civil engineering. Unaltered and unfractured non-foliated metamorphic rock are considered strong material and poses similar engineering properties to intrusive igneous rocks. If you need to compare the hardness, if you need to compare how strong the rock is, it is like intrusive igneous rock. It's very solid very strong and it is uh, poses similar engineering proper properties to intrusive igneous rock okay, few limitation for foundation tunnels and dam and remain stable for vertical excavation of slope if you have the area of metamorphic rock and that is from non-foliated metamorphic rock so this is your area you are confident enough to do the cut for 90 degree because we know this is very strong rock and it can withstand this kind of cut. And for foliated metamorphic rock are more similar to sedimentary rock because of their tendency to fill along specific plates because of the formation in planes and it has layers so it is very much vulnerable so that is all what you need to know about the types of metamorphic rocks the characteristic of metamorphic rock and this is the end for chapter 3 thank you